You need to know how to create content with AI in 2026. But their brotherhood ended in blood, with Romulus killing Remus to found the city that would bear his name. Set that as your goal because it will change your life. It will help you get better at your job, in class, in your projects, and it will free up more time for the things that actually matter to you. My goal with this video is to show you one of the most powerful and profitable content creation methods on the market right now. Long-form videos, whether that's for YouTube content, trailers for your projects, or many other uses. And because I know that when you start a new project, you often have almost no resources, we're going to do the entire process with new free and unlimited tools that have come out in the last few weeks. To make it even easier, I'll leave all the prompts and links to every tool we use today in the Discord linked in the description, so you only have to copy and paste. At the end of the video, I'll also show you how to get a PDF with the best free AIs and tips we don't even mention on the channel, completely free. All right, let's start. To create long-form content, we need three important things, a script, visuals, and audio. Let's look at the best AIs to get all three for free and in a super simple way. First, the script, because this is the brain of the whole video. To generate it automatically in a natural, high-quality way, we can't just use any random tool. So for this step, I'm using what is, right now, one of the most powerful language models on the market. And the best part is that it's free and effectively unlimited, Google's new Gemini 3 Pro. I've prepared an ultra-detailed prompt for it that you'll find in the Discord, and the idea is very simple. You give Gemini the topic of your video and how long you want it to be, and it turns that idea into a complete structure for you. It answers with a message broken into numbered clips, and for each clip it gives you four things. The line of script that will be spoken in that clip, the tone of voice for that line, a prompt to generate the image for that clip, and a prompt to turn that image into a video. Based on the duration you asked for, it creates more or fewer of these segments, but in the end what you have is a full storyline divided into small blocks that tell you exactly what should be said, what should be seen, and how it should feel at every moment. First you'll use that structure to generate the audio, then to animate the images and turn them into videos that match the narration perfectly, because the same prompt that designed the script is also giving you the visuals and the animation style for each scene. That's how we automate almost the entire process. And of course the prompt is fully customizable. If you need some extra instructions for your job or your niche, you can tweak it, but I can tell you it works great exactly as it is. Once we have that text and the list of prompts, we're ready to generate the videos that will play while this script is being read. For the visuals, I'm going to show you a combo of tools that are honestly some of my favorites for this kind of project. The first one is a lesser-known platform called Slop Club. Slop Club is a completely free AI video tool that lets you generate a lot of high-quality, super narrative clips every day. It works almost like a social network. You can scroll through videos created by other people to get ideas, download community clips if they fit your project, and everything you upload can stay saved on your profile so others can see it. What we're going to do is take the image prompts that Gemini gave us and paste them into Slop Club's image section. There you choose whether you want your creation to be private or public, depending on whether you want to share it with the community, and you simply ask it to generate the image described by that prompt. A few seconds later, you get a result that already looks extremely polished. There is one important thing you'll notice. Slop Club has a daily limit of 30 generations. After a lot of testing, I can tell you that limit is very high in practice. 30 clips a day is more than enough to animate all the scenes you need, and then the next day everything resets and you can keep going. To avoid wasting those generations on still images, I recommend using another tool to create the images, and saving Slop Club for what it's best at, animating them. For that, I use Meta AI. If you've been watching the channel, you already know that Meta is, in my opinion, one of the best free and unlimited AIs for generating images and video right now. We go to the Create section, choose that we want to generate an image, and pick horizontal or vertical depending on the format we need for that clip. In the Aesthetic settings, I suggest using Variety at 20, Weirdness at 0, and Stylization at 100. That gives you detailed but controlled results. 2025 is almost over, and we're falling into the same trap again waiting for January 1st to start something new or learn a new skill. But here's the truth. You don't need a new year to make a new start. AI was one of the most in-demand skills of 2025, according to the World Economic Forum. Yet most of us didn't learn it. And that puts us at risk, not just of falling behind, but of being replaced. You still have 45 days to learn AI and step into 2026 as a more skilled, smarter, and employable individual. That too, in just two days. Let me tell you about the two-day live AI mastermind training by Outskill, the world's first AI-focused educational platform, happening this Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. EST on both days. And the timing is perfect because they have their year-end holiday offer going on, so you can get in absolutely for free 
instead of the usual $395. Outskill is rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and this 16-hour live experience by them has been attended by more than 10 million worldwide professionals like you, across fields like marketing, finance, engineering, and data. Mentored directly by AI experts from companies like Microsoft and NVIDIA. The best part? This training isn't just about learning tools, it's about changing the way you work. You'll learn how to Use AI to simplify your daily tasks. Build AI agents that plan, create, and automate your workflows. Design AI automations that connect tools like Sheets, Notion, and CRMs to save hours. Gain ready-to-use AI systems for your job, business, or freelance projects. But learning those skills isn't just enough. The most important part is knowing how to monetize them. Outskills learners have launched AI-powered businesses that even built weekly revenue models worth $4,000 to $5,000. Not just that, you'll receive bonuses worth $5,000, including a prompt Bible, a roadmap to monetize AI, and a personalized AI toolkit builder, only if you attend both the days. This Christmas, gift this opportunity to someone who you think could benefit from learning AI as it could change their career in 2026. Seats are limited. Grab yours now via the link in the description. P.S. Join the WhatsApp community to stay updated before the big blast. Then we paste the image prompt that Gemini gave us for that clip, and Meta will return four different options. You pick the one that fits your scene best. At this point, you have two paths. If you want to stay fully inside Meta, you can transform that image into a video from the same panel. You go to Animate, choose Custom Animate, and paste the video prompt that Gemini generated for that same clip, and Meta will bring it to life following that description. If you want to use Slop Club's video model instead, you simply download the image from Meta. Go back to Slop Club, open the video section, upload your image, and in the prompt field, you paste the video prompt that Gemini gave you. That way, you get two ultra-powerful platforms working together. Meta AI to mass generate the images with no limits, and Slop Club or Meta itself to animate them exactly according to the guidance Gemini set for each part of the video. Meta is completely unlimited, which is perfect for experimenting with lots of looks, but I personally really like Slop Club's video model too, so I wanted to show you both options so you can mix and match depending on what you need. If you follow these steps, at this point you should have a folder full of animated clips, each one corresponding to one of the numbered segments that Gemini created with that prompt. Now we need the voice. For the voiceover, I'm going to give you two free and effectively unlimited options. The first is OpenAI.fm. It has a very simple interface. You select the voice you like, choose the vibe or style you want it to have, and in the script field, you paste the line of text that Gemini wrote for a specific clip. Hit play, and it will generate a high-quality audio file for that part of the video. Imagine a civilization so powerful that its shadow stretched from the sands of Africa to the snows of Scotland. Save each of these audio clips and name them with the clip number that Gemini gave you, so everything stays organized and you know exactly which voice line belongs to which scene. But I also want to show you an option that, in my opinion, sounds even better and lets you customize the performance much more. This is Google's text-to-speech using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. Here we choose single speaker audio, go into the model settings and leave the temperature at one so it stays expressive but controlled. And then we open the voices list and test different options until we find the one that fits the tone of our video. What do you want to explore? The really interesting part is the style instruction field. Remember that in the beginning, Gemini 3 Pro didn't just write the line of dialogue, it also gave us a description of the tone and emotion for that line. That's exactly what this field is for. Before we write the text, we paste the style instruction that Gemini generated for that clip. Then, in the main text box, we paste the actual line of script for that moment. When we hit Generate, Gemini 2.5 Pro doesn't just read the text, it tries to follow the style guidelines we just gave it. Imagine a civilization so powerful that its shadow stretched from the sands of Africa to the snows of Scotland. The result is a voice that respects the rhythm and emotion that the original prompt defined for that scene, instead of a generic TTS reading everything the same way. That's the power of building the entire workflow around one master prompt. For each fragment we have a line of script, a voice style, an image idea, and an animation idea that all belong together. We're not improvising each piece separately. They were designed as a single system from the start. And once again, the exact prompt I'm using is in the Discord, and it's already updated to work with these new tools. So even if you have older versions, I recommend switching to this one. If you've made it this far, you should now have numbered video clips and numbered voice clips, all neatly stored and ready. The last step is to assemble everything. For editing, I'm bringing you a completely free tool that works on both computers and phones, CapCut. You just download the app and you already have a full editor. 
Inside CapCut, import all your video clips and all your audio clips. Because we've been saving everything with the clip numbers from Gemini, this part becomes very simple. Take audio clip 1 and drop it on the timeline, then place video clip 1 above it. Your only job here is to make sure the duration of the video matches the duration of the voice. If the video is a bit longer or shorter, you adjust the speed. You can make the video slightly faster or slower until it fits perfectly with that piece of audio. Then repeat the process. Audio 2 with video 2, audio 3 with video 3, and so on until the end. When you finish, what you have is a fully assembled long-form video where every line of narration, every visual and every animation has been generated and synchronized from the same master plan. Imagine a civilization so powerful that its shadow stretched from the sands of Africa to the snows of Scotland. For over a thousand years, Rome was not just a city, it was the center of the world, an empire built on iron, discipline, and unyielding ambition. But before the legions and the marble palaces, there was only a swamp and a story of two brothers, Romulus and Remus. Legend says they were raised by a she-wolf, but their brotherhood ended in blood, with Romulus killing Remus to found the city that would bear his name. In its early days, Rome was ruled by kings, but the Romans despised tyranny and eventually overthrew the monarchy to establish something revolutionary, the Republic. That's why the result looks so cohesive, even though we're using different tools. Everything started from one detailed Gemini prompt that you only had to paste once. As you can see, you can get extremely strong results very quickly, without needing a big budget or spending weeks learning complicated software, because I've done the hard work for you in that prompt, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel with every model. All the links and all the prompts we're using in this video are waiting for you in the Discord linked in the description, so don't forget to check that. And like I promised at the beginning, if you want to get the PDF completely free with the best AIs and the hidden tricks we don't show on YouTube, here's what you do. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, watch this video until the end, and leave a positive comment. Then go to our Discord and send our bot a screenshot where it can see all of that. The like, the subscription, your comment, and that you've watched the video. The bot will analyze the image and automatically send you the PDF that corresponds to this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.